lived in a part of Joburg which was under a hill and there were some quartzite outcroppings on that hill and somehow from a very young age, even younger than 10, I was drawn to those outcroppings and then I, I read books in the library. When I left school it was in the bad old days where if you were white and you were a male and a school leave you had to go to the army. I did that and the very first thing that I did when I came out of the army was to to, to ride my bicycle north to the Machalisberg Mountains, which I'd always seen in the distance but never been to. And, um, and that just began, it began my, my obsession with climbing, really. Exploring those mountains, uh, bouldering, and, and then finally climbing with a rope and hooking up with other climbers, having the little cliques of climbers we support each other and get swept up by someone inspiring them or whatever. I think that's always characterized climbing communities everywhere. If a, if a stranger pitches up at any climbing crag, Grahamstown climbers will always be friendly and offer a rope and all the rest of it. And that's not necessarily true of climbing communities in Cape Town or Joburg, for instance. Um, so it's a good place to get going in climbing. But I think, I think the intense focus that climbing forces you to, to bring to bear on what you're doing has a, has a kind of martial arts element to it. There's a certain creativity in the way that you solve problems, climbing problems. Um, it, it brings in other faculties that perhaps might not necessarily be there if you were simply running or, or hiking. And I think that, for me, is, is what keeps me at it. There's nothing like being on a big wall, on the top of a big mountain, in the back country, climbing with traditional protection and, you know, with elements of mountain weather and exposure and so on. I mean, that's, that for me is the essence of the kind of climbing that, that I most like to do. Any, any route which is of good quality and it's beautiful to climb, it has beauty of movement in it, implicit in the features of the rock. You know, I love, I love that. I did myself compete in veteran in the veterans division of early competition climbing in South Africa, and uh, I must say it was the least rewarding aspect of any of the climbing I've ever done. Even though I did very well in that competition climbing, I didn't really enjoy it, to be honest. Um, it seemed a little absurd to be spending so much time and effort on something indoors or on an artificial wall where you could be outside. 